Hello hard video order stuff, welcome back good buddies and today I've got a super quick and helpful video for you. I'm going to show you how to use the multicam feature in Final Cut Pro with ease and I'll chuck in a couple of Harv special tricks to make you feel like a master of the multicam. Multicam is an amazing feature that speeds up your editing time on projects where you set up more than one camera. However, I've found that Multicam really comes into its own when editing music videos. So that's the example I'm going to use today. As always, I hope to educate and inspire you. Please let me know if you found this helpful by liking, leaving a comment, or best of all, hit that subscribe button. So firstly, we need to create our Multicam clip, and apologies for people who have done this before. It's really quick and easy. Just select all of your clips and your audio track, and then right click and select New Multicam Clip. The default settings that Final Cut gives you are normally correct, but do check them just in case. Once that's done, and it can take a little while, we can then drag the clip onto our timeline and get to work. The next thing I advise you do is double click on your Multicam Clip, and then just make sure that everything is synced up as it should be. Final Cut is actually very good at doing this usually, but it's good just to make sure. And really all I'm gonna do is just look for spikes or you know louder bits in the audio track and compare it to the video tracks and just make sure they're all aligned as they should be. Of course, what made this possible is the fact that each video has a scratch track of the audio when we did all the filming, so it can sync it up pretty well. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is to rename all of the track clips. So instead of it being C0001, we're actually gonna rename it depending on what the clip looks like. So the first one I'm gonna rename Side because he's I'm kind of on a side angle to the subject. Um, this will all make sense, trust me on this. Next one I'm going to call cell wide, next one cell tight, and so on and so forth. Now the reason that I do this is when we go back and look at our main timeline and right click on our clip, we can actually select our angle just straight from the menu there and it's really, really handy. Another quick tip for when you've double clicked on your multicam clip and you're looking at all of your angles, you may notice these buttons down the side showing a monitor and a speaker and they indicate what you'll be viewing and what you'll be hearing. So I would recommend for a music video, always have your audio clip as the only audio source, otherwise that'll get confusing. And you can use the monitor button just to view whichever clip you need to view. It's worth noting that this does not affect your edit from your main editing window, so you can click and view uh, whichever ones you like, it doesn't affect it. Next we'll take a look at the Multicam Angle Viewer and I'll tell you why I don't necessarily think it's always best to use it. Final Cut's default is to show you four angles, but you can extend it up to 16 if you have that many clips. Of course, it will include the audio as one of the clips, so make sure you set audio to your audio track straight away. Of course, the main purpose of the Multicam Angle Viewer is for you to edit your video in real time. So in theory, you can hit play and then just change angles to your heart's content. The only problem with this that I see is that it's very taxing on almost any system. It doesn't matter how fast your computer is, things will start to slow down. Here I've got six clips of which all of them are shot in 4K and I'm editing this on a top of the range as of the middle of 2018 iMac 27 inch and it's understandably struggling and I've just, I find this a really distracting way to edit. So this is how I do it. The first thing I do is I get rid of the angles. I don't wanna see them. I feel like I can edit this better by doing it more fluidly, doing it this way. So I hit play and then by using Command B, I can make cuts where I feel like there should be cuts. I then right click on the cut and choose the angle that I want. This may seem like a slightly longer winded way of editing, but I find that by using the music as the guide, it gives me a better sense of where the cuts should be and which angle I should choose. Of course, once you've made your cuts, you can really easily move them around, really just fine tune them to get them perfect. I do a lot of going back and changing angles and just moving them around slightly to get things feeling just right. You may have noticed that I haven't done anything in terms of grading with my clips and that's really intentional. I just don't want to load up my clips and make everything run really slowly. I just rather do it all in one go. Best to get the, all of the editing and cuts done, then go back and grade your footage and get it looking really good. The best way to do this is to double click on your multicam clip on your timeline and open up all the different angles and then you can grade each one 
feel free to copy and paste that kind of thing, but really just matching shots is so much easier doing it this way. If you're interested, I'll link a few videos below about how I graded this video and other general videos about grading that I think you find interesting. Check them out. Lastly, and as a nice little bonus tip, I want to show you how to do a really, really nice fade in. This song really did need a fade in, so instead of adding a control point and just adding a standard linear fade in, like a straight line fade in, there is a, in my opinion, better way to do this. So I'm going to add two keyframes to our opacity control here, just, you know, where you want them to be. Drag the left hand one down and then right click and select ease and you get a really nice S curve of a fade in and it's just a really nice gentle sort of fade in that just it just looks so good. And there we have it, a nicely graded, nicely fading in, multi cam clip of loveliness. Uh, questions and comments down below please, I'll be down there as much as possible. Anyway that's it for now, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I've made a huge amount of videos like this, so I'll pop a couple of particularly good ones over this side. And if you fancy sticking around and you're not already subscribed, definitely do it. Just hit the blob that's over my shoulder on this side. And until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.